reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing in everything. Give thanks. And this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very peace of God sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who will also do it. Amen and amen. So the passage in Thessalonians clearly says, despise not prophesying, and yet there are pastors and denominations who say prophesying have ceased. And it also says, quench not the spirit. So if you despise prophesying, you're quenching the spirit. And what is the result of that? You dry up and you wither and die. You fall off the vine, brothers and sisters. And this is what many pastors who have been transformed as righteous by the devil who transforms himself as an angel of light. It is no wonder there are so many dead people in the churches, dead in sin and transgressions. We must awake as we are the children of the day, not the night. Now, this is where we have to be really serious about this. Those who say prophesyings have ceased and those who say tongues have ceased are liars and no liar can enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's serious. We're not talking about error, just a little bit of error. We're talking about damnable heresies, damnable heresies by heretics who are born again dead, twice dead, plucked up from the roots. Evil men crept in unawares in the assemblies of the gods who puffed themselves up and glory after their own flesh. And they they give offerings to one another and gifts one another so that they can in return be puffed up into a higher platform. These are the evil days where Jesus warned, Go not after them, for many shall come in my name, he said. In my name they will come, 
and they shall deceive many. This is serious stuff we're in. This is a serious battle for the mind and for our faith. We must we must hang on to it. Strengthen the things that remain. Feeble hands, feeble minds. Strengthen. Wait on the Lord and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait again, I say, on the Lord and he will strengthen you. Wait, wait on him in this. Not somebody's dream. These dreamers are false prophets and they shall be slain by the Spirit. They shall be cut off. Woe to you who say, Thus saith the Lord, when the Lord hasn't spoken. Woe, woe, woe to you. 